Okay, guys, so this is uh, Greater Howling Abyss. It's in the north of Hellswarm, and it's the main way of gearing up after you've done your Hasla token tokens for your weapon. Uh, you will find uh, three different armor sets here, one cloth, one leather, one plate. Make sure you enter the right instance. This is the easy one, the Enter Howling Abyss, and then H is Enter Greater Howling Abyss, the one we want. They should make these spears like one shot you. Not do zero damage. So ideally you want at least one healer. Uh, for this run that will be Codex. <coughs> and um, you can bring along uh, Songcraft, a raid buffer. Like a Tom Warden, a cleric, ah, or someone else back. with some craft. Yeah, a lot of fun on Friedrich. Yeah, a bit. Ideally, you also have one sorcerer with witchcraft, so you can lock down uh, individual okay. mobs and um, one archer to kite the big bosses, or a plague tank. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, for this run, I will be kiting most of the bosses, but I'll uh, we'll show that a bit further on. Temper is so luck. Sometimes bad, sometimes Ra good. Rats are just set so the three different the order of the mobs. Okay, so I'm gonna the first we're gonna disable two and three. Was it already <laughs> temper? Yeah, it was a lot of you. My bad. For the guys watching, make sure you roll on your set and not someone else's. So what we do here is we pick off the small ones to the side first to make sure we get a nice clear vision. And then up here you have the guys throwing bombs, which you can kill with cannons here. So you just walk up to the cannon like uh, on a ship. Blow them up and they die. Alternatively, they, you don't always get them the first go, but uh, then you can just uh, kill them the regular way. They're not really hard. These mobs here in the middle you can ignore. You can kill them because they can drop mobs. They can drop some gear, but uh, that's not really uh, worth your time often. So we have like one mob here left, we can either ignore him or just kill him. Okay, so now we're up on the ledge. This means... <laughs> if you're not being blocked, you just follow it around. And you need a key to enter that gate. You look here first. Okay, to the left here is the box where the key's in. Otherwise he spawn it can also spawn there. No, it's smart. Oh, I mean ah no need to bubble, that's that's not right, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. I'll hit the QLC. I got the key. Don't do that, you look stupid. <laughs> okay, here we have some eggs. Uh, there's a special mechanism to this. You pop the egg, you go to the fire, and there are snake spawns. So you now have a torch that you picked up from the. You throw it, and that does damage over time to the snakes. And they die. Okay, there's two more, plus a uh, deceiver. So we bubble that. Yeah, he's Eggs from our guild. He's from our guild. Now we're gonna get the surf. Hello. Why are you there? Yeah, man. You are being recorded. Hey, you saw Soldier. Oh, Hazel's doing a video right now. Might wanna wait a bit. Okay, tomorrow I'll be back around 6 o'clock on my time, so it will be like 5 o'clock your time. Or... Yeah. So, good enough? Hmm? Yeah, sure. Mm, okay, there's two mobs here. You can ignore them by just throwing your torches on the... Alternatively, you can also kill them like uh, we did before, like you lock down one with CC and then kill the other one. This is the first boss. It's uh, relatively easy. There's like one mechanism where he spawns a couple eggs. Uh, I guess I tank, right? <laughs> so what I do is I build a bit of aggro and then their egg spawns. So then make sure your party members kill the eggs in time, otherwise snake spawn like before. And you just guide it around, or if you're a plate tank, you can just stand there and face tank it. You can do this without taking any damage, if you're good at it. But I'm trying to talk and <laughs> guide at the same time, oh, okay, which isn't that good. successful. Um, once you get to like half, then more eggs start spawning, like he sp summons four at a time now. But that shouldn't be an issue if your DPS are just focusing them down immediately. Make sure you bring some mana potions if you're guiding it. Chest here, destroy. <laughs> Did anyone roll on that? No. This guy drops an axe, 
that if you let's see I got it so you can spin it around and instantly kill all of them if you do it right of course Pick the guy to the side first. Okay. Once you get that one down, it's again with the three mobs that stand in a group. So CC two and three, kill one. I thought dagger spells didn't run out of mana. Oh, if you keep on running. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid. Just uh, hold up a bit and regen your mana. There's no point in taking unnecessary risks. Okay, here you have some axe down here. You have a Need casket. To first. <laughs> the barrel disappeared. My bad. <laughs> Okay, the next room. Here you have one guy to the side, which you kill first. I'm gonna disable them. Oh. <laughs> well, it's... Okay, you have three small guys that you want to disable, and then Medusa, which you have to kill first. It's important that you immediately roll. Roll quick. You get an item that you can use, and then instantly they can die to an AoE. This here, you have three little levers on which you drop these boxes that Pai and Ratsa just put down. Ratsa is getting the third. Then the gate here will open. There's one mob here. And a lever. Pull the lever. Back out because there are spikes here on the ground and just kill them off. Climb up. No one rolled in the sash. Mm. Yeah, you can't disenchant it anyway, right?
there's a couple more guys here behind this corner, but you can just jump down. Yeah, let's just jump down. There's two guys throwing barrels here, which you can shoot from the ground if you have some range people. Alternatively, you can lasso them down. They throw barrels like the previous uh, room. You need to kill these because otherwise they will start throwing barrels during your fight and that's not really something you want in a boss fight. Okay, this is the boss room. Let's see, they are triggered. Does anyone have wings? Uh, I have wings, yes. So the mechanism for this fight is clear to everyone in this party, right? But okay, I'll just explain it for the video. Um, the boss is like a melee, and he will jump around a bit on different party members. But at some point, after a certain amount of time, he will do one long channel in which he explodes himself and uh, engulfs the entire room in an AOE. If you don't have protection for that, you will die. There's a couple ways you can protect yourself. One is with protective wings from Aramancy. The other is invincibility from defense. And the third way, which is sometimes a bit fluky, the boss will spawn a little fro frost, uh, frost adds, like there are little NPCs that will do a frost attack and that will freeze you. If you're frozen, once he does his explosion, then you're also safe. But getting the mobs to attack you 100% of the time is sometimes difficult. So ideally you have some protective wings to save you. Don't have to kill the ants. Yes, that's a good addition. You don't have to kill the ads. Uh, it's essential that um, if you're kiting it, that you do the most damage in your party. So that's either by you having good, very good gear and most DPS, or by your party members not going all out. See, he switched to Pi now. That means that Pi has to thank it. Oops, it that's not a problem in it, it itself. But uh, if it's a clot wearer, then it might be an issue. You see the frozen marauder? You can walk up to him. Detective wings. Especially if you have a lot of DPS and uh, you kill him quickly, then it means that there's only one frozen marauder once he does his explosion. And that's a certain issue if you need five people to get frozen, so it's easier to just use protective points. Your healer or a prime fall in your party should have Aramancy at level 50, and you can always respec for it. He jumps around randomly, even though I still have aggro, you can see that here. But that's just his skills, so make sure your healer is aware of that. Hmm. That must be an upgrade for someone, right? Yep. I have green, so I need upgrade. You have a lever in this room. That opens the gate here. <laughs> There's another big uh, guy that will drop an axe to destroy the small guys in the back. But first, we're gonna kill the archer. The archer first. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> my bad. My bad. I'll, I'll do the archer. That was a small breakdown in our communication. Ideally, you have one person doing the, the targeting. In this case, that was Ratzer, so that was my bad. Yeah, my mistake, sorry. Okay, you can just uh, run through. You can do that from the start. You can avoid all of them in theory, but you have here, and they will all die from the barrels. Don't stand on top of them if you're very squishy. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Ratzer! <laughs> <laughs> all these mobs because it will be a boss room So you will want one of your cloth wearers uh, to tank it. How much magic defense do you have, Pi? 
So that's gonna be either Pi um, or Rats or with not your healer ideally, because he will get locked down. Uh it's 5.3k. Okay, yeah, same as me. Uh I don't I'm gonna let you again. do down there, yeah. <laughs> okay, there's several ways to do it. You can either have your tank stand here or here. And your TPS on the wall here. So they don't take any damage. Um, you have the four corners here, here, Who here, tank? and here. I will. In which uh, little uh, geysers will pop up and push the player in the air, which is necessary because the room will fill with water and will be elect under oh, electricity. Really? Which uh, but it should be here so everybody. the bolts, the lightning doesn't bounce off. Yeah, uh, songs don't reach you there as well. Out of range. Mm. They should ride 25 meters. And there, but not further. <laughs> you explain what we are doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I already did with uh, you guys on mute. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh... Get some aggro you first. can just ignore the ads. Let your tank build up aggro. <laughs> Songcraft will do the songs to get the defense from the tank up. Make sure that's still in the middle. Don't stand in that. See, he will get lifted up from the little Kaiser, and he won't be the uh, The tank swi uh, the boss switched aggro to Pi. He's standing right there, which is also a good location to stand. Yeah, that flame pillar is a perfect location to also tank it. Yes, I do only endless arrows for now. Because I don't want to accidentally pull aggro and get myself killed. Can just ignore the ads. Oh, it's on me. I'm invincible. Vulnerable to magic DPS, so as long as I cast this, I'm fine. And I'm just waiting for the boss to switch aggro to Ratzer, which doesn't appear to be happening. So I'm just gonna keep tanking it, I guess. Ideally, you don't want this to happen, but it's okay for uh, now. I have decent gear. But Not wait, sure what happened there, why I pulled aggro. I just endless arrows for the entire duration. Yeah, well, I can't attack like a lot of the time, you know. Uh, it's a <laughs> nice drop. It's uh, a very nice. It's a very nice drop for uh, the clothies. Mm -hmm. Um. The boss also dropped the key, and depending on who gets the key, yeah, I just got it. I can open the gate here. Did you got the key? Yeah, I had it. But apparently, Ratzer uh, isn't strong enough. <coughs> Can't hold aggro against endless <laughs> arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's silence. 50% of the time. <laughs> In all honesty, I think the best spot to tank it is probably the pillar. Which I was standing. Okay. Because you don't get knocked up. Mm, it, it doesn't matter for the tank to get knocked up as long as uh, the healers can heal it up. Yeah, but it's easier to keep aggro if you don't get knocked up. It's mostly the balance is the problem. You can still cast the casts uh, while being uh, up. Meditating. You can avoid the 
bombs on the left and right. Mm -hmm. There is a mini boss here, so you have to kill everything in this area. Or not. Got it. Uh, some of the eggs have popped. to the previous bosses ago. Oh. Yeah. Um, I guess I pull it to the other room. Yeah. Yeah, you can tank this if you have a play tank. Then it's not an issue, but if you don't have one, then you just pull it back to the other room so you can freely guide it. You guys good on mana? I am. No, you yeah, are yep. so. Also, I guess. seen a bit why uh, it's important to have a bit more room. Mages, they sometimes have big crits and kill full aggro. He's so low that we got to just DPS him down. It's a letter piece, so that's an upgrade for me. Even though it's green. The quest gear at heroic level is equal to the gear you get here that if it's green. So running this dungeon is very advantageous for your gear. You often get up to heroic here. So anything that's blue or arcane or heroic is better than anything you can get in the quests. And also the set bonus hit that you get here is a lot better than uh, the regeneration you get from the silly the sets during your quests. This is again a Medusa boss, so kill Medusa quick. It's important that you roll, roll really quickly again, so that the person that can pick up the special item, that's her picked it up, and an AoE by Pi, and they all die. You have a lever here, and the lever up there. So what happens is the water level will rise, so you can reach the ladder there, 
and pull the lever. Why is, do you have to pull the lever to get the water to rise a bit more? Because at this level we still can't reach the ladder here. Okay, final boss room. This big guy, which is uh, sim quite similar to the previous one. Get a nice cutscene. I'm gonna skip through. Okay. Um, I'll explain the mechanisms quick for this fight. This boss has uh, two mechanisms one, Enrage, in which you can use one of the cannons to stun him. So and knock him out so you can uh, do more damage and he has sort of laser beams that link up to different people and then all the damage you do to the boss will get spread to the people that are linked with the laser beam you will see clearly what I mean with that there are shields here in the corner that you can pick up to this uh, to uh, remove the link with you and then if you do that the boss will get frozen Otherwise, you yourself get frozen after the duration of the channel. Other than that, uh, if you have a plate tank, you can just tank it. If you don't, then you kite it like the previous fights. Ready? Yep. Whoops. <laughs> I'm getting the shield. Is the wrong uh, this direction. is the channel, so don't do any high crits. You can see me taking damage, that's because I was doing damage to the boss and then it split to me. I didn't get the shield in time, so I get frozen. Mm. Don't stand in those belt balls, because will take a lot of damage. So I'm not being channeled, but I I'm not dealing damage to them because they are being channeled. So they got the shield and they cleansed it out. Ideally you want to guide it around so your teammates don't get, get away it. out of the light. But they know what they're doing, Getting so I'm, I don't worry too much about it. They're being channeled again. See, they pop the shield, and they're all fine. Boss gets frozen now, you can stop DPS. Ah, he's out of it already. You can get close to one altogether. Ah, too late. That's oh, pity. Now we are frozen. Don't accidentally step in the light. See, this is why you want a lot of people, person to tank it, otherwise you have an issue.
I have a shield. We are lost. Mm. So, Reds will die here, which isn't, <laughs> which doesn't usually happen. I already have this one, so I don't need it. I don't have Res killed at the moment. Ah, okay. Got you. No, I have. Don't really need Res, do you? Yeah, so always bringing a couple of these. Can't hurt. Thanks guys for coming with me. I recorded it, so gonna close it down now. <laughs>